Are you trying to figure out a unique name for your new dog or puppy? Well today, instead of talking about training, I'm actually gonna talk about some of the unique names that I have come across as a certified professional dog trainer. Not only have I trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, before I also dog sat for Rover.com and I had dog sat for hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies as well. Additionally, I've taught puppy class, I currently teach puppy class and a basic manners class. So needless to say, I have definitely come across many, many dog names. And in this video, I'm gonna share some of my favorites with you, so stay tuned. All right, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I already mentioned I'm a certified professional dog trainer who has trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies. My passion is helping people and their pups live more peaceful lives together. That being said, today's video is a little bit different because it's not about training, it's about fun dog names. So the way I organize this video is I group them together by category and I have the chapters listed in this video. So you can skip through to kind of the categories you wanna list. Into. For example, as someone that lives in Colorado, that's me, I live in Denver, Colorado, I do love the mountains, I love nature, but if you don't love the mountains and you don't love nature, then I would skip that section. No need to listen to that section if that's not something you're planning on naming your dog or puppy. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the first category is food names. I love food names because I love food and I think food names are just really, really cute. So I'm gonna sub this even further into specific cuisines. So let's start with Mexican food. So I think Picante was a really, really cute name. I see this name for any small sassy pup with big attitude. So if I had a little rescue chihuahua mix uh, that was tough, I would name him Picante. Another fun name I came across was Taco. And then some really, really cute Japanese names. So I'm half Japanese for those of you who don't know. And so I resonate a lot with Japanese food names. I had a puppy once in puppy class that was named Uni. And for those of you who don't know, Uni is the Japanese word for sea urchin. Another cute name, Miso is really cute. And one of my favorites, Wasabi. Once again, for a sassy little pup with big attitude, I think Wasabi is a really great name. Now moving on to Italian. So I love like pasta names, so specific pasta names like ravioli. And then I came across a really cute name, Cannoli. I think that's super cute. It's like very sweet pup, could be named Cannoli. And then of course, American food. So chili, awesome name. Cabbage is also such a cute name. Pepper, and I love gravy. So you can see like food names. I'm not gonna name every single one that I thought was cute, but you can kind of think about what foods really resonate with you and you can name your pup that. All right, now moving on to tropical names. So I personally love Hawaii. I used to go every year with my family. My mom's side of the family is from Japan. And so Hawaii, was the perfect place to meet halfway. So these names really resonated with me. So there was a golden retriever that was a service dog candidate named Aloha. I thought that was such a cute name. Any dog that has the Aloha spirit, they like to have fun, they're always down for a good time. I think Aloha is a great name for that. I dog sit for a pup named Kona a lot. I think that is a really, really cute name as well. Maui, Coral, Lava. I think these are all really fun unique names that are great if you like Hawaii, if you like tropical vacations, things like that. Next is Disney inspired. So of course, I'm not gonna name every single Disney character. If there's a Disney character that resonates with you, then of course that would be a great name to name your pup. But ones that really resonated with me were Olaf. I mean, Olaf is just a fun character, so be a great name for a new dog or puppy. Mufasa, Mufasa. I would imagine like a really handsome golden retreat looking off into the sun, that would be a great name. <laughs> Simba, Nala, of course these are all from The Lion King. But yeah, those names really resonated with me. If you have any Disney names or any other name that resonated with you that I didn't mention, leave a comment below, let me know. And of course, because I am now in Denver, Colorado with my husband and my dogs, I have a love for the mountains. So mountain names also resonate with me a lot. One of the service dog candidate that I puppy raised who actually is a service dog now was named Grizz. And I thought this was such a unique name. Grizz, like Grizzly for short. 
and he was a chocolate lab. It was just the perfect name. I thought it was so unique too because I had never met any other Grizz. Aspen, Summit, these are all such cool names. If you have a dog that just likes to bulldoze through things, I think Avalanche is also an awesome name as well. And of course, there's sports teams that you can name your pups after. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a big sports person. I know my husband loves the Dodgers, the Lakers, but it's always fun to name your your pup after sports teams if you're into that. So it's actually really ironic because the service dog that I am puppy raising right now, his name is Dodger and his whole litter was named after baseball theme. So there was like a rookie, there was a Sox and we happened to get Dodger. Like we didn't request any specific name and I'm really glad because my husband would have hated it if we had a dog that was named after a team that he didn't like and we would have to use that name. So we actually really lucked out that we got Dodger. And of course, there's always the famous people and movies that you can name your pup after. I came across a golden doodle named Chewy, like for Chewbacca, which I thought was really, really cute. Double meaning, because they might like to chew as well. Still staying in the Star Wars. Ewok is a cool name. And I think Elvis, really cute name. And my dog, Ziggy, named after Ziggy Marley, because I didn't want to be so obvious. I love the movie Marley and Me, but I thought, you know, everyone's been naming their dog Marley. I don't want to be like everyone else. So I went for Ziggy Marley. And then my other dog's name is Waffles. So I guess that should have gone in the food category. But yeah, those are kind of the main ones that stood out to me. So what dog names are really obvious or not unique? Don't kill me if your dog is named one of these. They're still really cute, but I do think they have been overdone in the recent years. So Tucker, that has totally been overdone. I've met so many golden retrievers named Tucker. I met so many dogs named Sadie, so many dogs named named Ginger, and so, so many dogs named Bailey. Oh, and don't get me started on how many Lunas I know. I know so many Lunas. Don't get me wrong, I love that name. There's just a lot of them. So if you're trying to think outside of the box, trying to think of unique names, I recommend you start brainstorming. I actually have a whole video on how to brainstorm puppy names unique to your personality. I'll link to it below and I'll link to it up in the cards up here also. But you kind of get the idea. Start to think about what you're into and then start brainstorming different specific names from there. All right, and that's it for today, everyone. Like I said, be sure to leave a comment with one of your favorite unique dog names that you have heard of, and leave me a like if you like this video. It helps out my channel a lot, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.